today I'm gonna tidy my creative office. <laughs> I like my surroundings to be quiet and peaceful because it helps me concentrate. I already have so many ideas in my head and it's so chaotic and overflowing that I need my surroundings to be the opposite of that in order to keep peace inside my head. Second, the less stuff I need to manage, the more time I have to focus on the important stuff. It helps to prioritize and to, to be clear about what I want to do and don't want to do. Which leads me to the third point. I think sometimes less choice is better. Uh, also when it comes to creativity. We all know the decision fatigue where if you have a thousand options you're not gonna choose any one of them. And But if you say you have three options, maybe I'm gonna make a new dress tonight, I'm gonna paint with my watercolors, or I'm gonna write a novel, then it's already easier to just pick one. I still have way more options than I probably need, but you can already see by maybe even cutting the options in half of the things that realistically you're not gonna make or do anything with anymore, you're actually making it easier on your mind um, to be more creative and to, to do the things that you actually really want to do. I'm actually gonna challenge myself to set a container that is about a third of the container that I'm using now, which means that the very big closet that I have, I will replace it for a much smaller closet, the closet that is now in the guest bedroom. My only limit will be that everything that I keep will fit inside this other closet. I will try to make a quick decision, is it a definite keep or is it a definite trash. The main growth of the material will actually be undecided still. I will first put the definitely keeps inside of my new closet and depending on how much space is left, I will just keep filling it up with stuff that is a little bit more on the yes side than on the no side and that will help me decide to prioritize my stuff and to really know what I want to keep and what maybe I'm, I'm ready to let go of. These two boxes I'm going to donate, then here's some stuff for recycling, this is trash, um, these books are also for donation. Almost finished and then we can take down the closet. I 
is one of the things that I still have to decide what to do with it. This is helium tank. I used it for my happy phone booth. And actually it's almost empty. And at this point it's just one big thing taking up space that I'm not sure that I really want in my life anymore. So, what would you do with helium? Does it spark joy? <laughs> <laughs> this is me tidying my room. <laughs> Old closet, new closet. Old closet, new closet. <laughs> my closet is almost empty and it has so much joy. <laughs> A whole new world. <laughs> A new fantastic point of view. Da, 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 da. And then there's only one thing left to do. So more space definitely comes with a number of benefits. Like, it's awesome that I can do handstands now on this wall. But in all seriousness, I've definitely experienced more calm and peace in this space ever since I tidied it. And I truly feel more focused whenever I work in this space now, which I really, really enjoy. And best of all, I feel more inspired to create. I really do feel like I created a blank canvas for myself. The canvas being this room and there being, again, endless opportunities and possibilities to create whatever I want in this space. And it's a really, really nice feeling. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing me accomplish my first creative dream, decluttering my creative office. Um, I'm already secretly working on some of my other dreams, so 